Hi guys, today I'm going to try speedrunning Grotopia. How does one speedrun Grotopia? Well, you just try to get a small lock as fast as possible with nothing. No items or buffs allowed. This is the current leaderboard. As you can see, I've tried this before and I'm at 8th place. My goal for today is to get a good ranking on the leaderboards. You can look at the leaderboards and submit your own runs at speedrun.com slash Grotopia. I began by analyzing the current record which is set by Smirky GT. Watching this, I'm starting to regret my decision to speedrun this game. Watching this is so boring, I want to peel my eyes out of their sockets. His final time was 3 minutes and 22 seconds, which is the current world record. Let's go. Let's beat his record. I began my journey by just simply going on my alt account and creating a brand new world. Then I set the world entry level to 124 to avoid any and all intruders. Then it was time to start doing the most exciting thing every man dreams of doing every day. Punching dirt. Punching a lot of dirt. Like a lot. I'm not kidding when I say a lot of dirt, I mean a lot of dirt. A lot. Sorry I'll stop. You get the gist of this speedrun now. Gist. You basically gotta get lucky with how many dirt seeds you get. Basically. And how many gems you get from trees is also crucial. But against all odds, there is actually some technique to this speedrun too. I'll tell you more about that soon. On second thought, I'll tell you more about that now since this is boring as f <coughs> What I noticed while analyzing the record run is that when going left, you should always hold down spacebar for punching and the A key for moving left. That way you always punch the dirt and the cave background takes no hits of damage. Not hitting the cave background at all is 33% faster than hitting it by accident. <coughs> Another thing I noticed while analyzing the record run is that if you hold your mouse at a specific spot when going right, you can avoid punching the cave backgrounds entirely. This is a lot easier to do if you have better ping and the record holder is from America and for some reasons Americans tend to have better ping in Grotopia than us Europeans. This happened during the first run I did. This was my second run, and also my first run where I didn't disconnect, so I decided to finish it to see what time I would get. I got 436, which is now my starting point. There's a lot of improving to do. During my third run, I decided to try to copy the technique the record used. The technique is to first get to around 40 dirt seeds and then start planting. While those trees grow, just keep breaking dirt. When the trees are almost done, plant the seeds you have in your inventory. Immediately start harvesting the trees once they have grown. After harvesting them, wait for the other batch of trees to grow while also trying to get gems from the dirts around you. Once the second batch of trees have grown, harvest them immediately. This run was still really bad, but I got a better time of 4.07. The next run was worse than the last, so I decided to end the run early and try next. This next run was actually crazy. I got 46 gems at 3 minutes flat, which is insane considering the record is 3.22. If I had 4 more gems, I would have beaten the world record on this run. My final time on this run ended up being 3.34, which is still an amazing improvement, and it put me 6th place on the leaderboards. The next run was bad, and so was the run after that, but then something happened.
I got 3.30.92, which is only 0.8 seconds away from Terry's third place time. So close. So extremely close. After this, I tried a couple of times, but couldn't get anything better going. Then, it was time for server maintenance, which saved me from severe brain damage from speedrunning Grotopia for too long. My final time ended up being fourth place, and I'm moderately happy with that. If you want me to try to get the record, you should tell me in the comments below. Alright, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.